Hello, good evening. You are welcome. This is another time of prayer. This is the first day of May 2021. And I remain your brother, Wunaya Aboke. This is um, the prayer we have every Saturday night by 10 p.m. I trust you've been getting blessed um, for the few times we've had it. This is another time and I trust that God will be reaching out to us as individuals. will be reaching out to our families and He will leave His blessing upon us. Um, this is the first Saturday of the month of May. And so what we'll majorly be doing is to be praising God. You know, this time of prayer, we'll just use it majorly to praise God. And um, there is something powerful about praise. There is something, there, there, there is something that praise does. Um, sometimes we, we, we relegate praise to the background. We think, oh, every time is prayer, we need to pray for this, we need, we need to pray for that, we need to um, rebuke this, we need to rebuke that, we need to bind this, we need to bind that one. But there is something, praise is also a weapon of war. So when it comes to praising God, you do it with all your heart. You are able to, um, 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 the, the psalmist will say, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praises. Do you understand? So you are able to, to, to trend in paths, to tread in paths that are supernatural through your praise. He said, enter his gates with, with, um, with your thanksgiving. Enter his courts. In the way you talk about the courts of heaven, that's where judgments are passed. That's where decisions are made. So he said, enter the courts of heaven with your praise so in this um, prayer session we are going to be praising god um um as as it is um the first day of the month of may so we'll be thanking god for everything he has done for you all through from the month of january down to february march april and then he, you are in the fifth month which is the month of grace five stands for grace so i'll just read the scripture psalm 149 you know, when you start from verse one, it's all talking about praise. But I want to point your your um you to something. Psalm one four nine, verse five, right? Or um verse six. King James to say, "Let the high praises of God be in your mouth and the double-edged sword in your hand." Say, "Let the high." Praises of God be in your mouth and a double edged sword. It means that praise and warfare go hand in hand. It means that praise and breakthrough go hand in hand. When you give God a heartfelt praise, you are releasing your weapon of war. It is a weapon of war. He says, When let the high praise, not, not just any kind of praise, but the high praises, the high praises, the high praise, let the high praise of God be in your mouth and the double edges sword in your hands he said to um to bring judgment onto the enemy so when as we go through this um session of prayer which majorly will be a prayer session i want you to do it with all of your heart with all of your heart we'll be dancing over our disappointment we'll be dancing over our struggles we'll be we'll be praising god over our trials over the the the, the um the, the the circumstances that life has brought your way we'll be dancing over them we'll be rejoicing over them the scripture will say that god rejoices over us he dances over us and we are going to join in that down. Go ahead and begin to worship God tonight. Go ahead and lift up your voice of praise. The Lord has done wonderful things. You know, when you talk about praise, it, go, it, it, it even goes beyond what God has done for you. It goes be, beyond what He has done. It goes to who He is. So you are praising God not only for what He has done, but for who he is. That is another dimension of praise. You may be looking around and you are wondering what has God done for me beyond what you, what you, the specifics. I want us to start from the general things, from the from the name of God, uh, from what we know about God in the scripture, and we will now come down to thanksgiving, specific thanksgiving. Uh, so starting from the general, can you begin to worship God tonight? Uh, can you begin to lift up your voice and say, Lord, I give you the praise. Uh, I give you the glory for you are seated upon the throne. Uh, I give you all the praise. I give you all adoration um, for you reign over all things. Uh, you reign over all things. Uh, you share Kapalia. Don't say 
Baratosia, and Son of Bia Vendor Ropragata. You are God all by yourself. You are the King of all kings. You are the Lord of all lords. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof. The world and all that dwell therein. Go ahead, lift up your voice and begin to yield your heart in, in worship. Yield your heart in praise unto Him, unto Elohim, unto El Elyon, unto Adonai, unto He that was, that is, and is to come. And so Pelletenia and Son of Oroko Felata and Shatapa Le Rus Epelwata in Quate Zondo Palariso Balatana and Shatapalia unto him that created all things. Every visible thing we are seeing was created by God. He says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And you just go ahead. A pass kilo presi vela takai dons e vela kapaha. Jeketene mendoro vela ta. A soto vela ta. Lia kombri so vela ta. The scripture will say the Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Can you just go ahead and rejoice? Because of the rulership of Elohim. Because of the rulership of Yahweh. Go ahead and rejoice. A Pala te copre si balatana ha in pala rus e preto balata e le copre su baratalia en solo bolo presto preto balata ah je pelata ha for the Lord is good ha and His mercies endures forever ha for the Lord is good ha ya solo maha and His mercies endures forever Father Lord we come in humble adoration ha and we bow before Your throne of grace ha we bow before your throne of grace of a source embrace of perwatana and shaka perus e venequata e resoloto mene pendos e venia copalata e resoloto mene mendos e capaladosia just go ahead Go ahead, uh, let your voice ascend, uh, let your praise ascend uh, like a sweet smelling savor. Let your praise ascend uh, uh, from the golden sense, uh, let your praise ascend uh, unto God. Uh, uh, may He find it sweet. In the name of the Lord, for the Lord is the Almighty God. Uh, he is the El Gibor. Uh, he is the Almighty God. Uh, he is the multi-breasted God. Uh, he is the multi-breasted one. Uh, he is the one that provides. Uh, he is the one that sustains. Uh, he is the one that protects. Uh, is the one that guides, uh, that shields, uh, that shows us the way that lights up our path. Uh. He's the one, he's the one, uh. he's the one, he's the one. There is none that can be compared with him. Uh. He's the one, he's the one. Uh. There is none that can take his glory. He is the one. Uh. Lord, we recognize you tonight. Uh. We recognize you as the one. Uh. We recognize you as the one. Uh. It is not the arm of flesh. Uh. It is not the arm of flesh. You are the one. Uh. You are the one. Uh. You are the one in Copelerus Epelatosa and Son of Morocco Peruas in Procoboratom, Resopalatiosa, Etene May Son of Marus every Soparata, and the cause Jingra Son of the Rus Ivoloton. Ah, you are the one, and Lord, we worship you tonight. We worship you, man. I call the free sopra siva la taquan de clateha. Oh, Jesus, we give you the praise of the taste. She can't deliver us a propelatanaha. Oh, chini cumbri zebris cobri de riga palatezi ebre no robalataha. Oh, Jesus, monde villa te jacaha. You are God and you reign. You are God, Lord, and you reign. You are God and you reign. Ah, Jemene Capelle Ruse Perubalata. You are God and you reign. Oh, Jemana Mangla Tose Probaratania. You are seated upon the throne. You reign. You are seated upon the throne. You reign. You are seated upon the throne. You reign. Ah, the Cate Molotodova. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. We'll continue by reading um, 
Psalm 136. Psalm 136 is the psalm I love so much when it comes to giving praise. Psalm 136, it says, Praise the Lord because He is good. His faithful love will last forever. I love the way that the psalmist outlined his, his, his praise. He was not just saying, God, I praise you. He was being specific. He was mentioning the things as will be seen. He says, Praise the Lord because He is good. His faithful love will last forever. Praise the God of God. His faithful love will last forever. Praise the Lord of Lords. His faithful love will last forever. Praise Him who alone does wonderful miracles. His faithful love will last forever. Praise the one who used wisdom to make the skies. His faithful love will last forever. He spread the land over the sea. His faithful love will last forever. He made the great lights. His faithful love will last forever. He made the sun to rule the, the day. His faithful love will last forever. He made the moon and the stars to rule the night. His faithful love will, will last forever. And then he entered to more specific praise. He killed the firstborn males in Egypt, both male and animals. His faithful love will last forever. He took Israel out of Egypt. His faithful love will last forever. He uses powerful arms and strong hands. His faithful love will last forever. He split the Red Sea. So you see the psalmist being specific with his thanksgiving. He was not just saying, Father, thank you for, for rescuing Israel out of Egypt. He was mentioning the remarkable points he could remember. He was mentioning them. He said, He that splits the Red Sea the Red Sea, the Red Sea, he split the, the Red Sea into, into two parts. His faithful love will last forever. He led Israel through the sea. His faithful love will last forever. He drowned Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea. His faithful love will last forever. You know, God, through this praise session, he's going to be drowning your enemies. <laughs> The enemies of your soul, the enemy that is coming against your soul, against your family. Ah, the spiritual forces of wickedness. Ah, he will be drowning them in the Red Sea. Ah, he say he that drowned Pharaoh in the Red Sea for his faithful love endures forever. He says he led his people through the desert. His faithful love will last forever. He defeated powerful kings. His faithful love will last forever. He defeated the strong kings. His faithful love will last forever. He defeated Shehom. Sihon, king of the Amorites. His faithful love will last forever. He defeated all king of Bashar. And Bashan, his faithful love will last forever. He gave their land to Israel. So are there people, are there people as though they were that are, are, are in the physical, you cannot go against them. There are people that are higher than your kings in authority and it's as though they are coming against you. Uh, the scripture is making us to understand uh, that there is a God uh, that is above the kings. I say why do they hit in rage? Uh, why do the people imagine eventing the kings and the princes they have gathered themselves together against the Lord that is Psalm chapter 2 uh, against the Lord and against his anointed saying let us cast up their bonds uh, for they say he he that is seated upon the throne shall laugh. Uh, we are seated with Yahweh and we laugh at the feeble plans of the enemy can you just go ahead and become specific with your praise become specific with your worship what are the things God has done for you in January, in February, in March in April, what are those specific things, can you begin to name them one by one and declare the faithfulness of God and declare the faithfulness of God, name them one by one he's the one that 